quartal of the year 2017. This quartal is governed during the energy vibration of the Kaisenar. The Kaisenar is water energy. And with that water energy, it's going to be a spiritual quarter for you, Capricorns. Very spiritual because what Capricorns do not understand is that you're very extremely spiritual. What is happening here is that we have the energy of the Kaisenar. I don't have him here out. And we have the Eye Princess and the Kaisenar. That means is the 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 um the aspect of the mother father god with the aspect of uh, the um angelical um the 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 feminine aspect and the masculine aspect of the mighty i am se present self coming up because the i princess is the intuition the kaisenar is the wise eye this 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 third quarter of the year 2017 is going to be a profound spiritual but yet still connecting with who you are as a true spiritual being is as if you find your true north so you capricorns in the this third period from july until september is that as if you find your true north and what is going to happen is that your own energy vibration is going to be here it's as if you're present it's as if your mighty i am present it's as if you're alive it's as if whatever that was blocking you has lifted um, there will be regrets, but it's going to be a profound positive um, third quarter from July until September because you're going to realize that certain aspects of yourself, certain things of yourself, certain individuality is now changed. You're not feeling no longer blocked. You are having freedom to move and go anywhere you want to go. Oh my God, that is a profound, profound energy that is happening. As, as we move on and we're looking at um, the aspect of the, the third quarter is from July until September. We have the energy vibration of two air signs and the water sign, the lovers. So you have the full in July. You're going on a new journey. The full going on a new journey in July. You have the star in August something happened and you have the star in august along with the king of cups and the star and the uh six and two eight of cups um okay i'll go deeper and we have in september the lovers and with the lovers there is no more um espionage listening to the lovers there is no more controlling whoever that was listening and controlling of the lovers uh, whoever that person is it's it has come to an end okay it has come to an end so whatever that was going on there that somebody was uh, affecting your your love relationship who was listening and creating chaos and uh, uh, karma for you guys it's not going to happen okay it's still no longer going to happen. Um, um, as we look at your quarter in July, you have uh, the uh, the full energy. The full energy is in here. Energy. You're on a new journey. Whatever is happening, you're on a new journey, and you're and you're having regrets. So it's a five of cups. You're on a new journey, and you're having regrets about something, and that regret is um, two, four, six, and one, seven don't have any regrets because whatever is going on is as if you have lost money or that sort of a thing don't have any regrets about it it's as if you have lost some money you're on a new journey sorry <coughs> you're on a new journey and the five of cups you have lost some money because the seven of pentacles is here so this is how it looks you're on a new journey you have regrets and the regrets is about money whatsoever is happening please don't have any regrets about money there's something that happened and you have lost um, um, and you know you're having regrets in July about something I've lost something the money what is this money all about maybe some people sell a house that was undervalued 
Some people have regrets about losing, not doing something on time to receive a certain amount of money. Some people sell because you wanted to sell faster. I don't see anything because it's, it's about work. It's not about work. It's about, it's about something that you have accomplished in your life. And it's as if you weren't, you're having regrets because this thing didn't come on time. Or something like that but that that's why you're having regrets so regret is the energy vibration I didn't carry um, the, the specific regret is about um, something it has nothing to do with work it has something to do with um, so either you weren't you didn't approach something on time or do something on time and that's why you're having regrets because you have lost some money okay in August, you have the star. The star energy bring the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is really supporting you. You, your wishes and dreams are coming out for the King of Pentacles. But what is here is that we have six and two, eight of cups. So your wishes and dream with the King of Pentacles is coming out. But at the same time, you have the eight of cups. The eight of cups can be that. Uh, the love that you share is in uh, infinity is infinity because it's the eight of cups and it's all about the love um, the emotional aspect so whatever is happening in August this love um, is, is the star energy is the is, is the star and energy vibration of love and this energy of the king of cups so there is a strong this relationship is infinity assemble so this is extremely good it's a positive positive um, relationship with the this person and it's an universal it's connected in an infinity um, aspect so whoever this king of cups or queen of cups is going to be um, with with that person your wishes and dreams are going to come true um, the love that you both share is going to be a love of infinity um, connection cosmic from the universe and here we go and reaching out again with the energy vibration of love in September so this is going to be a wonderful connection and whatever is happening in September with you and your partner who could be the end uh, you know your partner whoever that is it doesn't have to be the king of cups but your partner it's going to be good because there's an ending it's as if your life and people has been watching you for a very long time and in September it has ended and this cause this night of uh, um, ones uh, has something to do with it and it can be this night of ones is the energy vibration of someone who is young um, younger than um, 45 this this night of ones but you are no longer being watched or um yeah it's as if you were being watched and sometimes you know you're in a relationship and you feel as if people are just you know and sometimes there are young people that come in to create karma so some people is going to be feel as if they're watched espionage as if you were being watched for a very long time a sort of espionage thing because people can watch you via your computer and I'm telling you and I'm, I'm, I you know I'm going to let people be aware of certain aspect your computer people can watch you and accept your computer access your computer the governments can watch you and access your computer so be aware of this okay and the energy of who has brought this on is the energy vibration of the night of ones okay this is the energy vibration of the night of ones so be aware of the situation of what is going on as we move on we're going to look at the love energy in this photo for the Capricorn Sun moves and rising what is the love energy in this quarter and we have inner strength so in the third quarter you are going to need inner strength with a situation in your life inner strength inner strength is going to come up that you're going to need with a situation in your life in the third quarter and this is going to be a positive energy because whatever is there 
the Knight of Cups is going to have your back. Whatever is there, the Knight of Cups is going to have your back. As we move on and we're looking at the other energies that are, have come up for you guys, and I'm still putting my glasses on, we have the energy vibration of sacred space. So a lot of you are going to be looking for your sacred space. Whatever is happening, a lot of you will be looking at your sacred space and connecting with your sacred space. I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's being. I found spirit and contentment when surrounded by nature's being. I find peace, serenity, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. Okay, so a lot of you people are going to connect in nature in the third quarter, whatever is happening. A lot of you people are going to connect with nature. There is a situation that is happening, and you're going to realize and feel a connection. You're going to connect to nature. As we move on, we have the energy of hope. Look with with new eyes and create the changes that awaits you. Look with new eyes and create the changes that awaits you. Look with new eyes and create the changes that awaits you because wonderful new changes are going to await um, a lot of you. A lot of you. Hope. Hope is the key to survive in this time. Hope for the best and know that it's going to happen. Whenever you're having situations, um, invoke the mah Mahatma energy to flow through you and surround you. So the energy vibration, this is a powerful, this is a powerful energy um, that you should use. And it's the Mahatma, Mahatma, uh, Mahatma energy. Invoke them. I invoke the Mahatma energy to fall to me and surround me. And place the golden white coat and the energy to flow through me and surround me. And it says, the golden white Mahatma energy is one more available. And you are invited to draw it through your chakra system into the heart. This will raise your frequency and help the planet for you will leave golden white footprints wherever you go. Send to others the, um, the outlet of their ascension. So you will be altering people's ascension if you call upon the Mahatma energy and invoke him this Mahatma energy to flow through you and your surrounding and everything around you that is going to bring you positivity. So this is wonderful, positive energy vibration. Everything is going to work out. The universe is so wonderful. Everything is going to work out. Positive energies are coming to you, Capricorns. And I want to say thank you for being here. We will speak next time. Please like, share these videos and listen to your sun, moon and rising sign also and share these videos. And till next quarter.